Hey guys, I'm gonna show you my boy Ace. He, he's a rescue. We um, got him almost, uh, what was it, about December? It was, it was before Christmas. And, um, drop it. He's been uh, a challenge, let's just say that. He was real reactive. I mean, really aggressive, attacking. Like he would just attack. That was his first, his first instinct was just attack. Whatever it was, person, other dogs. And um, well, we had to hire a trainer. Credit to my wife, because I'm too cheap. I never would have done it. And um, good boy. And he has just been a challenge. We've got the train, but once we got the trainer, things started turning around. And so, you know, it's kind of a an example of sometimes we need sometimes we need outside help. And I never would have admitted it. I never would have said, "Oh yeah, I've got to get you a trainer," because I would have just hung in there and would have had a miserable time. Probably would have been abusive to the dog because when you don't know what you're doing, you just like, you know, you you just don't you don't know how to. It's it's just you don't have the tools. And so it's like, uh, you just don't know what to do. You feel exasperated, you, you feel angry, you feel stressed and it builds up. And then, you know, but with the, with the trainer, he just tells you how to handle them. And, um, it was just fantastic. And we owe a lot to him. It kind of goes along with the spiritual path. I guess we could say that, you know, we do need outside help. Sometimes it's hard for our ego to sometimes take the help. But if we are, you know, if we ask God and we we believe that we have faith in, in a higher power, have faith in the divine, that the divine is looking out for us, that the divine is aware of us, conscious of us, and cares about us, wants us to progress. And it's because the divine, I believe, you know, wants us to join, I guess you could say join forces, but... There's no force. It's just, you know, live at the highest level. Just to be at the highest level we can be and live at the highest level we can be. And, and I think a lot of us already have that kind of program down deep in our in our heart and our soul that we want to be the best we can be. And um, we just, you know, can get hung up on, um, you know, life and... Uh, get all turned around and get confused and not seek help and not not turn inward and and seek the help inward but we seek it outwardly and it's like uh it's kind of like we're holding on to a life raft we just we just can't quite figure it out how to swim and once you learn how to swim it's a lot more fun and a lot more enjoyable and so good boy you getting tired he went jogging with me so thought he might be a little tired but he is a little bit but it's cooled off so he's nice he's good but yeah so once we learn how to swim um it's just so much more enjoyable and i think we can kind of gauge where we're at just in terms of what are, what is our what's our joy level and i'm not talking about happiness happiness is ephemeral happiness fluctuates you know happiness fluctuates based on you know, external things like, you know, how much money we have in our bank account or, you know, um, maybe we're getting to go on holiday or get to go vacation or maybe we're going to see an old friend or something that's going to give us temporary pleasure, or temporary happiness. Joy is something different. Joy is like a deeper level of satisfaction that comes from, you know, just swimming, swimming in this swimming in this consciousness and um we become like freestylers and we can dive we can dive deep we can swim on the surface we can we can do all of the we can do all of the aspects of life you know not just the not just the mundane you know pay the taxes and stress out about the politics and worry about what your spouse is doing or what your children are doing or what your coworkers think or things like that. But we're able to go into that 
reserve. We're going. We're able to go into the reserve that consciousness. We're, we're able to expand into consciousness, and um, you know that's what that's what meditation all that's for. It's not. Um, it's just to help us be a better swimmer in this ocean. And um, anyway, I just thought I'd put that out there. I wanted to show you my boy. He's come a long ways. He was. He was a project. But he's almost. I. I think. I was telling my buddy, I think he's about out of 10, 10 being the, you know, like fully, totally trained, off leash trained. I think he's about a six and a half, seven. And um, he's a little reactive still. So, but a lot of that's immaturity. He's, he's still growing and maturing. And um, he's still a puppy, really. He's not even a year old. So, all right, y'all have a good day.